Hi, it's me, Amaka, the Excel coach. In today's lesson, I'll be showing you how to create dependent drop-down list. This is how it works. We have the zone column here and we have the state. For us to select the state, we also we need to select the zone because the state is dependent on the zone. So we have the North Central here and all the state listed here are North Central. If you select another zone here now, let me select North East. You notice that all the state listed here are North East state. So I select this. You select another zone, South East. Notice that all the state listed now are South East, right? So this is what I'll be showing you how to achieve in this lesson. Okay, we have zones and we have states. So I have my shape to where I created the zones. The zones are North Central, North East, North West, North and um, South East, South West, South South. And for each of the zones, look at the states under them. The first thing I'll do is to create a name range. I'll do that first for the zone and subsequently for each of the uh, zone, the states, right? So select the range you want to give a name. You can give the name here and just target zone, right? And that's it. You can also, let me select this range. You can go to your name manager and click on define name. So I'll call this. Ensure that the name you're giving it is same as this name here, right? So for the North Central, I will just call it North. It has to be the same with the name in the category, right? So the same thing you will do for each of the zones. Define the name. I will do it for each of the zones. Good. Yeah, the name already exists. Okay, not West, sorry. Not West. We've already created not East. Not West. South East. South, South, the fine name. Then the Southwest. Click on the fine name. Good. After you've created your name range, let's go back to our dependent drop down list. Right, we are here. So the first thing is to create a drop down list on the zone. So you select the range you want to apply the drop down list under the data tab where you have your data tools. Click on the data validations, allow lists, and input the list for zones. Can just select F3 for all this the, the list to be listed. When you press F3, all this this comes up. The name ranges you already have will pop up. So I want to select the zone I'm using, the zone name, and I'll click OK. So I can now have list of all the zone, not west, not east, right? Uh, south, south. So now let's also do for this range. This is where we will now apply the trick. So still under data validation, data source, click on the data validation, right? So you allow list. And here you use the indirect formula, indirect, indirect, and we're using this, whatever is selected here, look at it, but we'll make, we'll make the rows relative because we're going to copy it down make the row relative good and you click ok we're good to go so for the northwest notice that all the states in the northwest are listed here so you can just select kanu for the northeast all the states northeast uh, south south you see all the states in the south south cross river let's look at the southeast 
and you see all the states in the southeast are listed here, right? So that's how you go about creating dependent drop down list in Excel. If you find this video valuable, don't forget to share, hit the subscribe button, and like this video. See you in the next lesson. Bye.